Oh, well, well, I tell you what, excuse me, would you mind just looking after... No, oh, I want oh. nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, I'm nothing. terribly sorry about that. Well, I know why this gentleman is a little wary of dogs. His name is Bill Price. And his wife, June, got together with her daughters, Sally and Sue, to tell us that he's a bit dog-tired of little fellows like Stuart doing their business outside his house, which gave us a good idea. This is the commentary home of Bill Price. Now, according to his daughter and son-in-law, Bill's got a problem. And the problem is this plot of land directly outside the house. You see, local residents have taken to using it as a sort of a, a doggy loo area for their pets to do their business on. Now, understandably, Bill's a bit upset about this. So much so, he's written to the local council, who said, don't worry, we'll gravel it over. But he said, that's not enough. I want it tarmac so how do you think Bill is going to react when he arrives home in a couple of minutes to discover this being put in place? It's a purpose-designed pet lavatory. <laughs> I'm going to leave it now for our actor John Leeson to take care of while I go and get changed. See you in a minute. Here's unsuspecting Bill arriving home to find the council's canine convenience outside his house. Yeah. Is it a case of getting bogged down with bureaucracy, perhaps? Or will Bill simply poo-poo the idea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's all this about? Well, this is the dog's loo, isn't it? This is the toilet. Well, it... It's come. <laughs> well, whose idea is this? I mean, we live here. I want to know what it's all about. Who's... Didn't you, uh, did, didn't you get the old, uh, the letters from the council? Stating what? Well, we've had letters going past between us. I've had, yeah, we, yeah, that's right. We Look, complain, we complain because this was getting into a right that's state. That's right. We're we'll bringing all the dogs around here, and they'll be. They'll, they'll well, that's the spoiled. general idea, isn't I know, it? I know they won't bother to take them inside. They'll be cocking the leg up already. Oh no! Get that sorted, you see. There's no problem about that, that sort of really. I mean, I get the impression you're trying to make us a laughing stock. I'm not going at all. In, I'm going to the council. No, 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 no problem. Who's responsible? No problem. Give me a name. It's it's a council. It's a council. Please give me a name because I've got I've got a certain amount of correspondence. Parks and leisure's parks and leisure maintenance. There you got the names down below. Yeah. In fact, we've got the whole thing. But I've had no correspondence about having this. Should have we? But these have been bad all these in the EEC. I don't care where they've been. Nobody's informed me that this is going to be put in front of here. Well, this. I mean, whose idea was it? Well, the letters went out. Well, I've never received one. This is this is the very first one. Do you understand that? You may not have been privileged because they've put one in front of our place. Absolutely. Well, why is this going to come to try and sell this house? Well, nobody's going to buy it with a thing like this. Of course they are. It's perfect. Perfect. Oh, well, I want to get a rate reduction on this, and I'm going to pursue this right to the. Oh, not at all, sir. Well, that's. <laughs> yeah. This. Look, do you? Well, if you get a copy of the letter, send to me. Re Mr. Price, this. can I just? Can I just? Certainly. Can I just tell you? Further to our letter of 15th of April, 1987. I wish to inform you that the council will be taking direct action. Yeah. Well, that's what we've done, you see, direct action. It's a real break, hey, isn't wait it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're expecting me to go in and clean that? Oh, well, what's the point? These new facilities will require cleaning them in. If you are not prepared to undertake casual duty regarding the above, would you finally notify this office in a prepaid envelope enclosed? Yeah. Do you think I've come right down to clean in other dogs? mess up. <laughs> well, I'm not. We so didn't. let's start from there. I'm not. Well, so let's go from there. What I'm saying is that the letters went out. Well, I've never received and one. And we did not receive. What the date? The date of that letter, where are we? 7th of 7th May. 7th of May. Well, I've never had a copy of a letter. Re reference Mr. Mr. Hopwell. G. Hopwell. 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 That's Mr. Shop. That's George. George Hopwell. 2354. Two, three, 7th of May. 1987. Well, I know you know. all about what I've got to ask you to do, sir, is to and I went in to stir things up. You are acknowledging receipt of the following items, implements, stroke equipment, stiff broom, toilet brush, <laughs> scrubbing brush. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Look, sir, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a servant. In fact, I got to say, I don't want to talk about it anymore. As a servant of the council, sir, I must ask you if you would. I'm yeah. so well, I'm refusing that to all the rest of it. I didn't want to you, talk about are it. Are you looking for work? Are you just for jobs? Ah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, yeah well, there, indeed there is. I mean, the, all you need to do is to just clean this out, perhaps yeah. just once a week, yeah. you know. Where do you, where do you, where do you, where do you get the water from? Can we... Well, you can go in your house and get your water. There's what no problem about that. In the bucket, you know. Which end? What? Your house, sir. I mean, yeah. it's ideal, because well, it's... Well, you know, well, 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 well,
What's you all in that, that for? Four pounds. <laughs> and you can play. Yeah. What do you think you wouldn't? You wouldn't complain about a dog, Lou, would you, madam? Yes, I would. Because how many dogs are going to go in there? I the council. Know are in there, they're all the same. I'm sorry. The council well, can't win. It, the council are dead lions, don't they? Not well, at all. The council. Yeah, What's he to do? Yeah, I thought this was yours. But who is this? Does he work for you? <laughs> How do you keep him involved? I don't. I'm taking him to the dog. Don't worry. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Serious conversation about this with a member of the council, and you keep putting your beak in. Dog owners of the world unite. <laughs> this man oh, is not allowing here, this come here. toilet to be put here. Come here. What do you yeah. think of it? What do you mean, not allowing? I haven't got the power to stop it at the moment. You're well, talking nonsense. You just you said you're not allowing it. She's a dog owner. What do you mean, I'm not allowing it? I'm not a dog owner. I'm looking at you. You keep putting words in my mouth. You said I don't like dogs. I didn't say I didn't like dogs. What the hell are you talking about? Have you ever said by the council to cause trouble? Are you from the troublemaking department of the council or what? <laughs> oh, I recognise you. Oh. <laughs> hey, everything I've said then, it's, uh, it's been recorded. It's been recorded. Will it be put on the... You are on the television. Just through there. Can you see it? Oh. 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 <laughs> Bill, now look, I know that you love dogs, so why were you so upset? Well, I, I get upset because they come in front of the house, you've already explained, leaving <laughs> all what they want to behind, you see. So what was but so... The thing that upset me most was the trend of the conversation, thinking that I'd got June supporting me, and all of a sudden I look round, and there's June holding your dog. <laughs> Because, I, as I say, I like dogs, but uh, I, don't, I, I just don't want them forced onto me in a situation such as that. Well, I don't blame you, but I think it was a marvellous sport. It could only happen in England, couldn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Give them both a round of applause. <laughs> Terrific. Well done. <laughs>